I want you to remember this. In order to fulfill our purpose, God may allow confusion where we are in order to push us forward. It sounds crazy, I get it, because confusion is a bad thing, right? When we are confused, we panic. There's the lack of security. There's the lack of who's in control. How can I control this? When things do not make sense, when instructions are hard to follow, when change comes and the new is still new, we don't know how to handle the new, when the unexpected happens and we have no answer for or a plan for it, then confusion happens. And yes, I agree, confusion it's kind of bad news. But who said God cannot allow bad news to invite us into the good news? So let me tell you again, in order to fulfill your purpose, God may allow some confusion in your life. Why? So he can push you forward. I say this because there is a, a biblical example to it, and I want to read it for you. It's from Genesis chapter 11, verses 4 through 9. Hear the word of God. And they said, come, let us build ourselves a city and a tower whose top is in the heavens. Let us make a name for ourselves, lest we be scattered abroad over the face of the whole earth. But the Lord... He came down to see what this city is about and the tower which the sons of men had built. And the Lord said, Indeed, the people are one and they all have one language. And this is what they begin to do. Now, nothing that they propose to do will be withheld from them. So, come, let us go down in their confusion Fuse their language, why? That they may not understand one another's speech. Again, I ask why. So the Lord scattered them abroad from there over the face of all the earth. And they ceased building the city. Therefore, its name is called Babel. Because there the Lord confused the language on all the earth. And from there the Lord scattered them abroad over the face of all the earth. Yes, you guessed it right. This is Genesis. This is the beginning of human history. And we realize that the old earth, the Bible says they had one language, one speech. They had found this plain place. And they decided this is where we're going to be. We're going to build our city. Or we're going to dwell here forever. Why? Because it's comfortable. We know what's surrounding us. So this is where our power source will be. And that is a problem. Why? Because God had made this entire creation for us to explore. For us to leave. For us to develop to enjoy, maybe uncomfortably, the journey to find them, but there is joy in it. And so this is where I have in mind that God comes and confuses their languages. It's kind of saying, well, guess what? Now you got to go find another two people who speak your language and go build your own city. Go and explore the entire earth. How? Confusing them. God confused their language to push them, force them towards their purpose. Now, I'm going to go a little, um, I know it's a sensitive topic, but I feel like in my heart I should say it. In Mark chapter 16, verse 15 reads this, and, and he said to them, Jesus, go into the whole world and preach the gospel to every creature. And this is what I'm trying to be sensitive, as I said, but sometimes 
God can allow some confusion amongst the church or a church to push them into the uncomfortable, but that's where their mission is. Isn't that true? We get together, everything is familiar. We build our own city. We're saying we're going to be here forever. And then God shows up and says, but wait, that's not the reason of your creed. That's not the purpose of life. And when Jesus says, go into the whole world, my friends, I'm comfortable where I am. Everything is familiar. I don't have to learn anything new. But sometimes God allows confusion. Why? So he can push us, invite us, even force us into our purpose. So I'm here to say that there could be good confusion. And if you're confused, do not immediately think you've done something wrong. What did I do? What, how did this happen? Wait. Can God use that confusion into your purpose? Absolutely yes. He did it, and I believe when Jesus says, go into this whole world and preach the gospel, sometimes what he takes us to go and preach the gospel is a little confusion. So don't be afraid. What comes your way is out of your control, but how you respond to it, especially through prayer and hearing God, can be exactly why the other thing took place. All right? So tune into God. And again, if you're going through confusion, this Friday morning you're here listening to this devotional, I'm here to encourage you that when God is in control of your life, then even confusion can become good. So in order to fulfill your purpose, God may allow confusion in order to push you forward. So go and preach, and God bless you.